Hey friends, Rachel from Cozy Nooks Designs here. And today is the second part to my tutorial on tips on how to do tapestry and intarsia crochet. You can do lots of fun different crochet projects with this technique and it isn't too hard. So we will talk today about why and when to yarn under when doing this type of crochet technique. So in this project, I have my cream, my brown, and my cream. I am going to work two stitches of cream into the brown and then I will switch colors. So for intarsia and tapestry crochet, typically single crochet is just used because it provides the tight stitching, which is what you need. So it's just simple single crochet. When you get to the stitch before you're about to switch to the new color, Instead of completing the stitch by yarning over and pulling through two loops like normal, you stop with the two loops on your hook, you pull the cream forward, you pick up the color you're changing for, and then you yarn under and pull through the two loops. So instead of yarning over and pulling through like you normally do in crochet, you yarn under. You yarn under for a number of reasons, but the main reason is because it provides less slanting of the stitches and it provides cleaner transitions between the stitches. And I have a whole blog post that describes um, the benefits of doing this. So if you're interested more in reading about that, I'll put a link here um, so you can read it. Then you just continue to single cro crochet across. You just need to slightly tug these other colors you don't want to tug too much otherwise it will pinch the colors but you don't want them too loose that you can see the colors through the stitches. So I'm single crocheting across to my next color change. I have one more stitch before my color change. So I pull through like normal and I'm going to stop when I have two loops on my hook and then I'm gonna pull the color that I'm changing away from forward, pick up the new color, yarn under, and pull through the two loops like normal. And I'm gonna pull the non-dominant, place it on the wrong side, and continue single crocheting with my new color. As you can see, we went from cream to brown to cream using three different strands and the color changes are a lot nicer because we were able to yarn under rather than yarn over. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in today. I hope you liked it. I am Rachel from Cozy Nooks Designs and make sure that you give it a thumbs up Comment if you have any questions and subscribe to my channel for future free patterns and tips.